So in this next assignment, I'd like you to fix certain data points just as much as we fixed the data points originally in our path, uh, the beginning and end point. Now I want to fix you um, four points. These are the corner points in our data points. So in our original data, it's the one over here, the one over here. And I want those to be fixed so they can't move. And the way I indicated this in the code is by giving you a fixed array that looks like this, where each of these numbers corresponds to exactly one data point. There's as many elements in fix as there is in path. And then when I call smooth, I add fix as a parameter. So when you change the procedure and run it, I can tell you you should be surprised by the output in that when I run my procedure, it verbatim copies over the initial path and the output. We'll talk about this in a second, but please go ahead and change your procedure so that the output ends up to be giving you something very much like this. The modification is simple. As I go through my data points, I only apply the update if it's not fixed. So if, if the fixed flag is not set, then I go in here. This is all indented one compared to before. It's a single line change. Let me tell you why this doesn't work. Consider a few data points like these. If you fix this data point over here, then this guy is perfectly happy with his two neighbors. This is a smooth path. So is this guy over here. The only uh, data point that's unhappy is the one over here because it's not part of a very smooth path but this one is never being updated. So as a result, all the other ones stay where they are. They already have the absolute minimum for smoothness and for the data fit. No updates take change, and we, are, we don't have the desired result. We don't get a nice round curve the way we wish to get it. To get this, we are going to modify our rule a little bit now. And that's the interesting part. For a node like this, with coordinates x, i, and y, i, we add to it with a very small constant gamma, in fact, it'll be half our smooth weight smoothing constant in a minute, two times the previous guy, and of course that's cyclic, so you have to make sure this is really cyclic, minus the guy two steps away, and minus our own node. Why this makes sense, we see when we go into the opposite direction. Here we add a small gamma, two times this guy over here, minus this guy here, minus our original data point. And behind this is a certain desire. We want the vector over here to be the same as the vector over here. This vector is this difference over here of xi plus 1 over yi plus 1 minus xi over yi. That's this, this vector over here. And the vector over here is similarly the difference of the point i plus 2 minus the same for i plus 1. If we set these to be equal and bring yi to the right side, then if you modify yi in proportion to this expression over here, we reduce the error. In fact, the expression in the bracket is the same as this one, call it a, minus this one, call it b. So we're looking at the mismatch between these two vectors and use it to adjust the xi vector over here. We do those sequentially, this one first, this one second. In my code, I'm a little bit sloppy because the first update already influences the second update, but who cares? We're just going to add uh, lines of code that achieve this over here. And when you do this, please make sure that your update understands the fact that these indices are cyclic. So I did this in my code and I'm running it and out come the following numbers that you can read over here. And these numbers are indeed uh, a cycle. So if you were to plot them, and this is your original data, these are the points we hold constant. Then the new data lies on an oval very much like this. You can plot them. Unfortunately, I can't plot them in our environment here, but you could see this. Now we're not shifting the racetrack inbound anymore. So please go to your code and modify the function smooth by adding these new constraints. For the update strength, I suggest you use half of weight smooth for each update. So in total, you add another 0 0.1 as update strength.